Hello and welcome to Collection Storage. My name is Yulia Bodanu and I'm the museum curator of the Yolo County Historical Collection. As you're getting ready to bake this holiday season, we'd like to give you some background on the Spreckles Sugar Beet Factory. In 1881, entrepreneur, industrialist, newspaper publisher, and railroad executive Klaus Spreckles founded the Spreckles Sugar Company in Spreckles, California, which is south of Salinas. Um, as his sugar business grew, he also expanded his enterprise to come to Woodland, where most of the sh sugar beets were grown and also processed. Sugar beets are root vegetables that are known to have a high concentration of sucrose and provide an alternative to sugarcane. Sugar beets flourish in a cooler climate um, that has rich soil and the growing season tends to be longer. Sugarcane is a perennial grass that tends to thrive in tropical climates. Klaus Spreckels was known as the Sugar King because during the 1880s he was able to harvest sugar beets in the valley while also expanding his enterprise in Hawaii with sugar cane. The harvesting and manufacturing of sugar beets allowed for business to boom and also gave rise to the Sugar Queen pageant. Every year a woman was selected as the Sugar Queen. Naoma Peterson competed as the Sugar Queen in 1948. This is the bathing suit that she wore which was made out of a sugar sack. Um, sugar sacks that were made of linen were how sugar was transported. Mini version, and this is a larger version of the sack. Then households, sugar was purchased in these sacks that were reusable. The linen content was fairly strong, and so curtains as well as clothing would be made out of the sacks. After the 1940s, paper was used as the means of transporting sugar because it was more cost effective. In the 1960s, the industry moved away from sugar beets to sugar cane, and so the Spreckles no longer farmed and processed sugar beets within Woodland. Thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Collections Revealed.